As you can see, baby is still in the bump, waiting for the magic number 411 to happen. For those who don't know what 411 is, it's the contraction cycle that tells you that you're getting closer to labor. The contractions should be 4 minutes apart, 1 minute long, and last an hour long. Just a small tip, if you live far out, you should start heading to the hospital at an earlier pace such as 511 and 611. Anyway, guess we'll have to wait a bit longer. Hope to see you soon, daughter. Since the baby's not out yet, we decided to do a Q&A session instead. Hope you enjoy it. Here I'm with my lovely wife. Why am I here? Am I a suspect? We're, we're YouTubers. Can I get some? Question number one. How does it feel to be 38 weeks pregnant? It feels like it's been 38,000 weeks. How many years is 38,000 weeks? I'm not gonna calculate that. Do you need a calculator? Oh. It's like only 36 divided by 12. So it feels long. Well, yeah. So it feels long. Yeah. Okay. It is the way it is. My wife hates being pregnant. I don't. What is the hardest thing about being pregnant? The hardest thing was um, getting sick and not being able to use any meds at all. Um, yeah, and that took like two or three weeks just to get rid of the common cold. <sighs> well, and the other thing is sleeping. Sleeping is very difficult. How long do you sleep these days? I sleep more than eight hours, but I wake up every one, two, three hours. What do you do when you wake up? Um, I need to use the restroom, have some water, and sometimes I wake up because my stomach hurts. So you're the reason why our water bill went up? Yes. <laughs> All the flushing and drinking. Expect really, really high water bills. <laughs> Question number three. What is good about being pregnant? <laughs> it turns out that there's nothing good about being pregnant. Well, there is a lot of excitement in the beginning. And, and then uh, fatigue and uh, morning sickness kicks in and then you forget about all the excitement and then you have this wonderful second trimester which is really good and you're like yeah I'm pregnant but I can do stuff and then the third trimester comes in and you're like oh no I'm pregnant I cannot do stuff anymore so it's um, well you get to you know make a human being Pregnancy is great, but use condoms. Question number four. What's something that's not really hard, but annoying? Mm -hmm. What do you think? I'm annoying. Yeah, you are sometimes. Uh, uh, heartburn? Heartburn is annoying. It, it comes back um, every day. Am I annoying? Question number five. What do you miss most about your pre-pregnancy life? I don't want to talk about alcohol. My wife misses alcohol. <laughs> no. no. I just miss being active. Yeah. If you could go back in time, what would you do differently? And just to be clear, this time period is after we got married. So you can't say like, oh, I should have learned, I don't know, like single life, no pregnancy. You can't say that. I think I would I would exercise more, yeah, and I would go to the movies. Movies I, I didn't go as much. I only went to the movies which are not very loud. So I'm not sure if that's okay or not okay to go to the movies when you're pregnant still. We went to watch Frozen on New Year's. Well, Frozen is cute. Like it doesn't have any you know special effects and nothing. There were <laughs> bombs or like I don't know terrorists or guns. It doesn't have that stuff. The witch just blew up a gigantic piece of ice. Which witch? Elsa. She's a witch? What, what, what else do you call her? Like a princess with special abilities. <laughs> what are your future plans for having kids? Twins, triplets, five more, six more, a lot more, more. No, not to have kids this year. Apart from this one, just have one kid this year and uh, stop there and 
if it feels like it's okay to have another one, then think about it January 1st, 2021, just think about it and do nothing else. Just, just have the thought. Can we plant the kid? No. Was your partner helpful? In majority, in, in the majority of cases, yes. <laughs> Can I live in there? I was awesome. <laughs> I am awesome. But sometimes. Are babies expensive? Yes and no. Mm, I think it depends how much you want to spend on babies. Because I think there's a way to not spend a lot if you buy some new stuff or if you have friends who can give you some stuff. So I think there's a way not to spend a lot, especially if you plan ahead. If you know that, oh, I'm going to have a baby, like I'm trying to have a baby and you're saving some money. So I think that's okay. But all the medical uh, bills are really expensive. So, yeah. But I'm talking about preparation for the baby. Uh -huh. So this part is okay. When the baby's out, I don't know. Like, share, and follow. Subscribe. We'll tell you all about it. Like, share, and follow. Let's end on a positive note. What would you like to do with our daughter in the future? It could be anything like shopping, going to places, going to favorite restaurants. What do you have in mind? I would go swimming with her. I hope she likes swimming. I like swimming. What would you do? Take her to places that I want to go to. <laughs> but this is the... <laughs> what? Take her to places that I want to go to. <laughs> Basically, okay, okay. Because the channel name is Papa Hood. Are there more questions? No. no. Can you think of anything else you want to say? Husband, are you, are you scared? I feel pretty well prepared so far. Once the baby comes out, maybe I'll find out that I'm just not prepared at all. And that, that's okay. What, what do you think helped you prepare? Internet. The internet helped. Well, that wraps what we prepared for today's episode. Now it's been one full month doing this YouTube thing, and I'd like to thank the 63 subscribers that may or may not know me in person. It's good to know that somebody's watching and enjoying our channel. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next week with another episode. Good job, all parents.